chocolate, and coffee. I mean, for so many of us, they're part of our daily ritual, right? But there's always that little voice in the back of your head asking, are these a healthy habit or just a guilty pleasure? So today, we're going to be your detectives. We're going to dive deep into the real science, looking at the huge definitive studies to finally figure out the truth about these two. First up, we're opening our case file on chocolate. And this story, it doesn't start in some high-tech lab. Nope. It starts with this really fascinating medical discovery in a very unique part of the world. Our investigation takes us to the San Blas Islands, off the coast of Panama, home to the Kuna people. And these folks, they were a complete medical puzzle, a paradox that put chocolate right in the scientific spotlight. Okay, so check this out. This is the paradox. The Kanawe ate a ton of salt, which, as you know, should be a recipe for high blood pressure. And yet, their blood pressure was fantastic, like textbook perfect, their entire lives. And heart disease? Almost non-existent. So what was their secret? Well, they drank a lot of raw, unprocessed cocoa. Every single day. So the thinking went something like this. The secret ingredient had to be these things called flavanols. These are powerful antioxidants in cocoa. The theory was they were helping the endothelium, that's the super thin lining inside all your blood vessels, to stay relaxed and flexible. This was a huge deal and it kicked off a ton of research. But, you know, what works for one small, unique group of people doesn't automatically work for everybody else, right? To really know for sure if this chocolate magic could apply to the rest of us, science had to go big. It was time for the ultimate test. And when I say big, I mean huge. The COSMOS trial was this massive study that went on for years and involved more than 21,000 people. For about three and a half years, half the people took a daily capsule packed with cocoa flavanols. The other half got a placebo, a fake pill that looked exactly the same. And the best part? Nobody, not even the researchers, knew who was getting what until the very end. And listen, the scientists weren't just looking at small stuff like, you know, cholesterol numbers. No way. They were tracking the big, life-altering stuff. Heart attacks, strokes, needing surgery, getting diabetes, even death from heart disease. Well, the result was crystal clear and, honestly, kind of heartbreaking for all us chocolate lovers out there. Taking the cocoa extract had no significant health benefit. None. And that's really the bottom line here. The hard science just doesn't back up the hype. The main benefit you get from chocolate is that it makes you feel good, which is great. Don't get me wrong, that's a real benefit, but it's just not medicine. Okay, so case closed on chocolate, but now we turn to our second suspect, a drink that's probably faced even more criticism over the years, coffee. And wow, this is where the story takes a completely different and pretty surprising turn. All right, first things first, let's bust a huge myth about coffee. You always hear that coffee makes you jittery and stressed out. And look, that can be true, but here's the catch. It's only true if you don't drink it regularly. The research shows that people who drink coffee every day actually handle stress better. Their bodies adapt, and they don't get that same blood pressure spike. And this is so cool, because it shows it's not just about the caffeine. A lot of coffee's incredible health benefits come from other things in the bean. That's why even decaf coffee still gives you many of those same protective effects. The good stuff is literally baked right into the coffee bean itself. And it gets even better when you look at something as serious as heart failure. I mean, look at this. The data is so clear. One cup a day helps lower your risk. Two to three cups is even better. And the biggest benefit comes from drinking four or more cups a day. Major studies show that regular coffee drinkers have a lower risk of serious liver disease, a lower risk of type 2 diabetes, and even a lower risk of melanoma which is the most dangerous skin cancer. All right, we've looked at the evidence for chocolate, we've looked at the evidence for coffee, so after digging through all the science, what's the final verdict? When you lay it all out side by side, the conclusion is impossible to ignore. For chocolate, the big health claims just didn't hold up under serious testing. Its main benefit is the joy it brings. But for coffee, the evidence is strong, consistent, and points to real, measurable health protection. So, what does all this mean for you? in your kitchen every morning. It's pretty simple, really. Go ahead and enjoy chocolate because it's delicious and it makes you happy. But if you're a coffee drinker, you can feel really good knowing that your daily habit of three to five cups is probably doing your long-term health a whole lot of good. At the end of the day, the science really does give us a clear map. One is for joy, the other is for health. Knowing the difference helps you make the best choice for you. 
So the only question left is, what's in your cup today?